Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with another full case break of 2018 Panini Contenders Football. 12 box, pick your team number four from jazbeescasebreaks.com. We filled up five first, then we filled up four, and at the end of the night, we're going to be doing break six. I'm kind of jumping around there. It's all good. Saturday, the 12th, Contenders. Anthony Hyenga, Last Bot Mojo, Panthers in this one. There's everyone else right here. Good luck to everybody. Now, if you've been keeping track at home, we've been keeping track of the bounties right here. We got we got bounties here too. We got a bounty pro one tonight. Got bounties here as well. We have still not seen Sam Darnold or Saquon Barkley tonight. We haven't even seen Saquon Barkley yesterday. Saw Sam Darnold yesterday. Josh Allen was seen twice. So maybe we'll see Sam Darnold and Saquon Barkley in this case. All right? That'd be nice. are all over the place. There we go. <laughs> there we are. Three stacks of, four stacks of three right here to make 12. Good luck, everybody. Good luck, everyone. Is anyone here watching this break? Or anyone in this break watching live right now? Pick your team four, Contenders Football from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Ah, Tyler, you're here. There you go. Are you in, are you in pick your team four? Yes, you have the Giants. Nice. Nicholas Kasberg has the Jets. All right, yeah. So this is perfect for you two. If we knock those guys out. Jacob's here too. Awesome, good. I've got a, got a few people here watching. Thanks for hanging out, you guys. All right, Jeremy Scott is here as well. Awesome. All right, good luck, everyone. Try to breeze through this as quickly as possible. We've got Anthony Averett, 15 out of 99 for um, Jerry Bennington and the Ravens. There you go. Jay's in this break, too. Patrick Edwards needs a Trubisky and Miller for the Bears. Nice. All right, so we got a, we got a decent crew here watching live. All right, our one per case, Chase Edmonds. Sometimes two per case, Ricky Holbert. Ricky with the Cardinals in this one. We got Jay Ajayi to 175 for the Eagles. And Ticket Stub autograph. Nice. Minka Fitzpatrick. You can see those jagged edges on the top. Those are pretty cool. Uh, Jeff Truesdale with the Dolphins. He might be watching live. I saw him a little bit earlier. There you go. That is to ninety to twenty nine. His jersey number. All of those ticket stub ones are to their jersey number. Seven out of twenty nine. Oh, and these of course will randomize left or right. We'll set that aside to remind me to randomize that. Nice. Mark Walton is your on card autograph. Your one per box on card auto. 
Bengals, Alan Murdoch on the board. I like how Mark Walton uses the uh, uses the entire canvas right there. And winner take all on the points, of course. That'll replace one of the autographs. Generally speaking, there are five autographs per box on average. We've seen some with four, but we've also seen some with six. So I guess it evens out by the end of the case, I'd like to think. Usually it does. And, oh, what a tease. I think, I'm th I think Panini did this intentionally. That's like their, their tongue-in-cheek sort of joke. Just to screw with us. Because from here, you know, because I, I monitor what you see there is what I see here, right? So it, I, we have it kind of blurry, so it'll be in focus right here. But from here, it looks like Josh Rosen. He got me too, Ricky. Ricky's like, no, take the knife out of my back. Got, it got me too. I got got. I got got. My heart skipped a little bit too, Ricky. I was just like, oh, there, Ro Rosen. But no, it's, I didn't even say his name. <laughs> Chad Kanoff. Is he even still on the team? Is this a practice squad guy? All right, box two. Sorry, Chad. If you're watching, Chad, I apologize. I'm, I don't mean to dog you, but listen, in the hobby, Chad, your autos aren't worth that much. Sorry. They may sentimentally be worth some, a lot to maybe your parents, mom and dad, siblings. But to Ricky Holbert, who bought the Arizona Cardinals in this break, Chad... You wanted your teammate, Josh Rosen. I, I mean, listen, if Chad's listening, g -Lo, I, I had to keep it real. You know, I don't... Just trying to trying to tell it like it is, but not you know, but not not trying to be mean about it, but you know, got to be honest with ourselves. All right, next box. Good luck, everybody. We got Kiko Alonso to ninety nine, and Armani Watts rookie ticket autograph for John Watson. Watson with Watts. Watson bought the Chiefs. From our Raiders, Marcus Bob. Chris Parent with the silver and black. Rod Smith, rookie ticket autograph. For the Cowboys, James with the boys. Rough day for the, your Cowboys, James. They got it kind of close though, 30-22. They're almost covered. <laughs> Need two more autographs out of here, you guys. There it is. There's Dorrance Armstrong Jr. Sometimes there's right side up. Gilo St. Joe's the kind of guy that would make his kids turn in their participation show. Yeah. I mean, I'll let them have... If they get a participation, like, medal or a sticker... That's cool. I'm okay with that. Yeah, you participated. Trophy though. So.
Boom, there it is. Rookie of the Year contenders, on-card autograph, 39 out of 49, Saquon Barkley. Our first one in God knows how many boxes. How many cases have we done of this? There it is. That's for Tyler Stumpf and the New York Football Giants. Got him. I gotta set set that aside for for picture time. So just take a picture now. All these boxes right here. Bam. Got him. Next box. There you go. Tyler's happy. Yeah, Brandon Brandon F. saying, finally. Sportsman doesn't even know you. Uh, I don't know the Australian Football League equivalent. Sports Madness, sorry. Tyler's, yes. He's happy. He has the Giants in this one. RG saying congratulations. Yeah, Wonka Vader saying for a Saquon Barkley to finally show up. That's a good one, too. Rookie of the Year contender right on the card. Wonka Vader, sorry about your Cowboys, Benji. Rams 30, Cowboys 22 is your final score. Now, what props have hit? Did Elliott get his two touchdowns for our propositions? No. Did Brandon Cook score a, a touchdown? Cooks did not have a touchdown. Decent game for Brandon Cooks, though. Yeah, hey, you're welcome, Tyler. That's a great hit. Did Goff have two or more passing touchdowns? He had zero passing touchdowns. We got we 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 greened up Dak yards. Here, let me flip screens for a second right here. Were there more than five sack, combined sacks? No, just one sack the entire game. You would think with Dak being a more of a mobile quarterback that would have happened. There were no special teams touchdowns, right? In fact, no, those guys, both of those guys, didn't have interceptions and any fumble lost. I think was recovered or did not turn into a touchdown. There were no safeties. All right, so. Uh, did, did Akeem Talib? I, didn't, I wasn't even paying attention. All right, so only two bounties were hit, but that's still 40 bucks of break credit. And we, we filled the required five minimum breaks for tonight off that list. So we did more than five today, but off that list, we, we got the minimum five. So we will be randomizing the people that were in those breaks, including Dominion Basketball, which filled, but will break tomorrow. We, were, we just kind of ran out of time. All right. There's Corey Davis to 175. Wonka Vader saying, I'm not a fan of Tlaib. As a Raiders fan, you can probably guess that I'm not a fan of Tlaib either. <laughs> we got Quadri Henderson to 49 for the Giants. That's another one for Tyler. Two Giants in a row. Crabtree, not a fan of Akeem Tlaib either. Crabtree's chain, not a gold chain, not a fan of Akib Tlaib. Akib Tlaib's not a fan of Michael Crabtree's gold chain. Oh, 
Oh, and by the way, John Raposo, we, we, we saw one Darnold last night, but I think that was it. We haven't seen another one since. There's Chase, Chiefs, John. Oh, classic Geico commercial. Guess what day it is? Mike, 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 Mike. Mike, 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 Mike. Da Bears with Da Ryan Nall. That goes to Patrick Edwards. Wait, did I pass by a couple autos? <laughs> Am I just not paying attention? Did I was paying attention to that Geico commercial? Sorry, I was busy watching that Geico commercial. <laughs> Sorry, Ricky. Too busy watching Geico commercials. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. That's not intentional. I, I I was literally watching Geico commercials. You gotta thank you gotta thank your guys in the chat <laughs> for that. All right, Cedric Wilson. Our shipping team would have found it too, and then they would have yelled at me. Joe, you missed one, big one right here. Eight out of eighteen. Let's get that dust out of there. There's. There we go. That's a clean sleeve right there. There you go. Eight out of 18. Draft class, Josh Rosen. Now, I photographed enough, enough Rosens already. But it's a very nice hit. If we hit a Darnold, I'll add... I'll add forty bucks to the to the to the break credit promo. We didn't hit enough pro. We didn't have hit enough bounties tonight. I'll give you guys another forty if we find if we find that from me to you. We budgeted for a lot more, so I feel like I can do that. The rest we'll save for the next bounty week. Hey, you're welcome, Ricky. I know it's a pricey team, so thanks for giving it a shot. It's a, it's, you know, scared money don't make money. Sports Madness, I, we should make an app for our website. Our, the mobile version of our website is pretty nice, actually. When we switched websites and website providers and platforms, the mobile version is actually very easy to navigate on your mobile device. So we don't need an app. You can just uh, make our homepage, jazbeescasebreaks.com, an icon on your homepage. Drop the link there. Add, add the link to the homepage. Just click that baby right there. There's your app. Boom. App hack. Yeah, Jeremy Anderson just has a bookmark. You can make it an icon on the homepage of your mobile device, tablet or phone. There's your app. Boom. Hashtag app hacks. All right, next box. Gus Edwards, rookie ticket autograph to 49. That's not his jersey number, even though it's a jagged edge up there. Hmm. And fake Josh Rosen, 25 out of 49. Fake Josh Rosen going to 
Ricky, of course. Was Jagged Edge a band? Von Miller to 175 for the Broncos. And Braxton Barrios, Tom Richard, and the Patriots. Jalen Samuels is your on-card autograph. That goes to Michael Gallucci, Steel Curtain, and his Steelers. Does this guy win the MVP, ladies and gentlemen? He's got to, right? He's He's got those crazy milestone numbers. And there's Durham Smythe, rookie ticket autograph, as your fifth and final one in this box. No, more. Playoff ticket. Playoffs? John Kelly autograph. So that's four, five. And, and this is an above average box. So Durham Smythe will go to the Dolphins. That'll be for Jeff. And you got playoff ticket out of 99, John Kelly for John Caston. Six. All right there, bonus. No, I'm paying extra attention now, Jeremy Anderson. Can't miss another one. Oh, Ricky Holbert. Now she's a keeper. Ricky is like, my wife calls me above average. That's a keeper right there. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So I had... Dallas plus seven, they didn't get that, but I did have Rams money line, so I won that. I don't know if that makes up for my, my Indianapolis Colts losses today. Cole Beasley did not score a touchdown. Gerald Everett did not score a touchdown. Well, I had some basketball, too. I'll check that later. There's a golden ticket pulled from earlier from another group break. There's other guys that do this? I thought we were the only ones. Yeah, I should, Ricky, I should have faded the public. Should have faded the public, but... But I did not. I got swept up. Swept up in the, in the Andrew Luck madness. Wait, so Andrew K., what are your picks, Mario? Andrew's been nailing the picks. No, oh, I'm not going to watch local local sports news post game. Not going to do that. Can't do it. Not going to do. Not going to be able to do it. Can't win with them. Can't. What's the quote? Can't win with them. Can't do it. <laughs> Not going to be able to do it. We'll go NFL Network. All right. DJ Shark, on-card autograph, 3 out of 25. Nice one for the Jags. That's for Brandon Thomas.
It's all right, Wonka Vader. Wonka Vader, Cowboys fans, like, I can't believe the season's over. It's all right, because now you can enjoy the rest of the playoffs stress-free. I've been, I've been enjoying Raiders, because I'm a Raiders fan, I've been enjoying many, many years of NFL playoffs stress-free. There's Will Disley for the Seahawks. There you go, Brandon, no worries. Seahawks for Justin for Cruz. And we've got Tremaine Edmonds, rookie ticket autograph. Bills for Michael Nepp. An Eagles auto would make you feel better? All right, Benji, we'll try to find you one of those, Wonka. All right, Andrew Kay's thinking, hmm, Saints and go Brady at home. Go with the public. You're going to go Chargers Saints. Those are Andrew Kay's picks locked in on the record. This is on wax. We can, we can go back to 26 minutes into this contenders break. Pick your team four. Jake Kumro. Rookie ticket autograph for the Packers, Jeremy Scott. Should be one more. There's Tom Brady. Oh, points. There was a points card in there. That's why. Brady is 22 out of 175. Ricky is going to go Saints for sure. I think they cover. Patriots Chargers will be a close one. If the Pats exploit that interior offensive line for the Chargers. I think the Patriots will run a lot more, right? Keep, uh, keep that Chargers offense off the field. Try to control the game a little bit more. Chargers are a pretty well-balanced team, but that's what I said about the Colts. But I think they're a better version of the Colts. You know what I mean? They've got the receivers. They've got a healthy, presumably healthy Melvin Gordon. They've got the defense. They've got Joey Bosa up front. They've got guys like Derwin James out there in the secondary. So uh, Mr. Five is asking, how many cases of contenders do we normally break each year? I don't know. We had generally contenders is one of our more popular products here at Jaspies. Probably the f new release wise, I think we end up doing like ten or so, ten or twelve or something like that. And then every once in a while we'll, we'll keep buying some more here and there. I don't know, ten to fifteen. We got Cam Sims. I guess we're we're already selling Pick Your Team ten, and we've done a few. We've done a few random teams, right? So I guess um, I guess like probably like we probably got fifteen this year. Looks like. Which for us is a pretty solid amount for our crew, size of our operation. Out of 175, Calvin Benjamin. Um, no, uh, contenders isn't isn't very limited. They print. They usually print a lot of this every year, so every, everyone um, everyone is able to get a lot of this stuff from year to year. They make a ton. 
It's not like National Treasures where they don't make very many. Hey, Jared. Thanks for pulling that Cracked Ice Lamar. You're welcome. From that Ram team break from yesterday, you are welcome. That was a very nice hit. We got James Washington on card auto for Steel Curtain. So Andrew's at, saying, Andrew K saying the Raiders now have four, 24, and 26 in the draft. What do I feel the biggest needs are? I, yeah, well, I'm, I'm kind of chuckling because you, because you said I know they have a lot. Just hit best available at the fourth spot, best available any position at the 24th spot, best available at the 26th spot. Rinse and repeat. No, Raiders cannot draft a new coach, Jeff. <laughs> He's locked in. Locked in for ten years. That's why you got you, that's why you gotta get guys like you know, no one's gonna take that GM job because they know no they're not gonna be a true GM. So that's why that's why Mike Mayock will go. That's why Mayock will uh is gonna be the so called GM. But it's really Gruden that's gonna be the GM. All right, so the points was the fifth auto. All right, we're halfway through this full case break, ladies and gentlemen. But, I mean, I guess I don't think they're going to... I don't think they're going to draft a quarterback. I think they're going to stick with Carr for another year or two, see what he can, see what he can do. I don't know. It's kind of hard to truly evaluate Derek Carr because there's just so, such few weapons around him. Ricky's like, is it weird that with two of those three picks, they'll be taking an edge rusher and a wide receiver to replace the guy they traded? Probably. I mean, if they turn those picks and they could find someone, it's going to be difficult to find someone as good as Khalil Mack. That's just... Well, you know, that's just too difficult, but I'm sure you can find someone comparable to Amari Cooper. I think people argued that Amari Cooper was picked a little too high by the Raiders in the first place. So if that's the case, then maybe you can argue that with the Amari Cooper pick, you can find a first rounder that's better than him. Any running backs, too. I think all they have is Doug Martin. Jalen Richard and DeAndre Washington. I don't know if they're gonna bring. Um, I don't think they're gonna bring Marshawn Lynch back. Well, who are we gonna take Josh Allen from? Is there another Josh Allen? Oh, there is like an. There is another Josh Allen, right? We can draft. Yeah, that we you can technically draft Zion Williamson. Doesn't mean he'll sign. <laughs> Zion Williams as a uh, Zion Williams as a tight end. There's Todd Gurley at 99. He had a nice game today. And for the Colts, Jordan Wilkins. Kurt Benkert for the Falcons. That's going to go to Josh Pruce. Yeah, I think as for my Raiders, I think they're just trying to... There's Billy Price for the Bengals. Um, Alan Murdoch. They're going to try to have a decent draft this year. Maybe they got cap space. They can try to try to add some players in free agency next year as well. 
try to grind out this year, whoever, wherever they're going to play in 2019. Who knows where they're going to play in 2019. And then have, try to have another good draft leading into their first year in their new stadium in Vegas in 2020. That's the idea. Everything they're doing now is pointing towards getting ready to have a nice inaugural season in Vegas at 2020. Harrison Phillips goes to the Bills. Michael with that one. Minka Fitzpatrick is nice. That goes to Jeff and the Dolphins. And bonus autograph, Anthony Miller. There it is. This is what uh, Patrick Edwards was looking for. There you go, Pat. 25 out of 99 on card playoff ticket autograph, Anthony Miller. There it is. You're welcome, Patrick. That's your one per box on card auto. So is everyone dusting off their C.J. Anderson autographs? <laughs> nice. Greg Fives is saying, I actually chose the Raiders to win the Super Bowl this year or next before this season started. The conspiracy side of me said the NFL would give the Raiders fans a Super Bowl before they left for Vegas. Maybe. But, I don't know. I, I, feel like, I feel like the Raiders organization and the NFL is all, have always been at odds. I don't know if they're going to do that organization any favors. Deadly Raiders says, If I were the Raiders, I'd trade Carr to Miami for Devontae Parker and a draft pick. Draft a solid QB and a couple other puzzle pieces, in my opinion. Why would uh, why would Miami do that? I don't think I would even do that. So they'd be they'd be stuck with with Carr and Tannehill. And then who are they who are they gonna move Tannehill for? Everyone in the league would lowball them for for Tannehill because they just got Carr. Is Quadri Henderson? For the New York Football Giants, that goes to Tyler. Fake Patrick Mahomes going to the Chiefs, that goes to John Watson. Trade away the Davis family, says Gilo. You think uh, Miami's going to get... I don't think they're going to get rid of... If they get rid of Ryan Tannehill, I don't think they're going to get Derek Carr. Derek Carr's a little on the older side. If you're going to get a new, brand new quarterback, you may as well just draft a quarterback and develop that QB. Keep him on his rookie deal. Save some payroll for other spots. There's fake Tom Brady, Danny Etling, going to Tom Richard and the Patriots. We got Shaquem Griffin for the Seahawks. Cruz with the Hawks. And, nice, 
Draft class autograph, 41 out of 49, DJ Moore. And that goes to Anthony Hyanga and the Panthers. Anthony with the last spot mojo on those Panthers. Nice. There's Andrew Luck to 75. All right, there you go. Four boxes to go. You know, I haven't seen too many vet autos out of here either. I think our first case, maybe our first break, maybe it was a random team break, had a Matthew Stafford. But since then, I have not seen too many veteran autos. Well, we did we did see a Patrick Mahomes sophomore. We see I saw a couple second year players, like Mahomes, and I think there was another player or two. But no, in terms of guys. That are multi-year veterans. No, we have not seen too many of those. Is Barry Sanders in this? Oh, right. We saw an Isaac Bruce. We did see a John Riggins. I guess those are like retired player autographs, though. Oh, we saw Marvin Jones Jr. early on. Right, that warm moon was nice. What about active, active veteran players? There's Armani Watts. What I need. Top open a couple more of these. Five, ten. Um, he is here, and he is sad. <laughs> Justin Jones. Arthur, are you okay? Justin Jones. With the Chargers, Robert Throne with that one. And we've got Jordan Lasley for the Ravens. Ghost of Jerry Bennington. In that first half, Arthur... Seemed like they were gonna that their de that defense was gonna lock them down. Rory, I don't even know. I'm I'm glad. I'm, a Rory, good man for for coming through on the bet. I forget what the bet was. It was between you guys, but I didn't want to be the middleman there, but. And nice Roquan Smith, Patrick Edwards. Bears. Well, there's a lot of bright spots on that Cowboys team. So what's next? AP and let's let's do a, a knee jerk. There's Kike Kuti on card autograph. Nice. 24 out of 99. Patrick Kay with the Texans. That's a good hit. He's usually a redemption. Um, let's do a quick knee-jerk post-mortem, night of knee-jerk post-mortem. What's got, what, what has to happen for the Cowboys?
next season to get to to get to a playoff win, a second playoff win, a Super Bowl. Sean Lee healthy. That's good. Co coaching. Well, knowing that Jason Garrett is not going anywhere. Jason Garrett has Marvin Lewis treatment. Although Marvin Lewis finally got let go, but Well, listen, I'm I, I've never played organized football in my life, ladies and gentlemen. Um, but I have watched the game my entire life and played some flag football in college. But listen, I'm not a tactician or I'm not pretending to be or anything like that. But I don't know. You can you can kind of get the flow of of that play calling just wasn't very dynamic. I just feel like there needs to like like in the third quarter, third or fourth quarter, they were doing like they were doing like I don't know, they're passing backwards, doing doing screens when they need to be throwing downfield. You know, they're they're doing they're doing uh they're they're tossing the ball, you know, like it just what just didn't seem very dynamic when you know Zeke just wants to punch, wants to just burst through the hole and just keep tiring those guys out. I know they have a difficult front, but just more of that instead of these. It was kind of conservative play calling. It's the kind of play calling that almost let the Seahawks back into the game last week. But there's weapons there. Dak Prescott's not bad, not bad at all. Amari Cooper has been solid for the Cowboys. Michael Gallup looks good. Obviously, Ezekiel Elliott is there. Defense is, is young and strong. You know, so... The pieces are there. You know, add some more in the draft. Add some more in free agency here and there. Blah, blah, blah. I did, Darren Porter. Did a draft day, Rosen. It's got to be the coaching, but I don't think I don't think Jason Garrett is going anywhere. <laughs> what is that right there? Is that a fake out or is that the actual auto? Chase Edmonds. I'm saying that the that the Cowboys play calling wasn't very dynamic, Jay. That's the that's their issue. <laughs> they got a. They, they got the weapons to do so. It is an autograph. Three out of 25 MVP contenders. Auto Deshaun Watson. That goes to Patrick Kay and the Texans. Nice. There you go, Patrick. There's Patrick K. Nice, he says. That is nice. Terrell Suggs to 175. Ravens. There's uh, Rasheem Green. Did I miss another auto? Why would I only have three? I should have two more in that little pile. Seahawks. That would be for Cruz. Maybe we only have... Maybe that Deshaun Watson counts as two. Chase. Come on, Chase. Earlier this week, uh, first time quarterback in the postseason in the last four 
No, just short and auto. I guess Deshaun Watson counts as two. Two boxes left. Oh, the the kid reporter stuff. Well, I don't know what delayed this product, but this was delayed like three or four weeks. I think it was supposed to be like end of end of December. I think it was. I think it was, they originally were supposed to it was supposed to drop maybe third week of December, and they pushed it back, and they put they it got pushed back like three times. So it should have uh, should have been out much earlier, and that those kid reporters should have still uh, applied. Rex saying, did you guys see the video where Zeke looks like he was channeling Questlove from The Roots? I like how you say he's from The Roots. Because we might mix him up with the other Questlove. No, I haven't seen that. Has it gone virus already? There, there is uh, Quentin Nelson to 49. For uh, Tory and the Colts. That's how I get paid, Nicholas Casberg, in base cards. Then I go to the local card shows, grind them out for two cents a card. And after, after gas and the table cost, I get to keep the rest. There's Gerald McCoy to 175. Now they get donated... Or hand it out to some of the... There's some kids that pop into the store every once in a while. They get, they get a stack of base cards in their hands. There's Sam Hubbard, rookie ticket autograph. Bengals, Alan Murdoch. Josh Sweat, there you go. Wasn't Andrew K saying there was a one per case Josh Sweat going to Benji and the Eagles? There you go, Wonka. And fake Russell Wilson, Alex McGoof for Cruz. Ooh, Tyler's looking for a Sony Michelle and Saquon Barkley dual auto on that redemption. That would be a strong one. All right, it's going to be Carry On Johnson. Rookie ticket variation, RPS. Carry on my way, word song. That goes to, who's got Detroit in this? RG. Robert Ginsburg with that one. And the final box of Pick Your Team number four, ladies and gentlemen. We made it. You're welcome, Jay. Thank you as well. Final box. I think we're on schedule. Yeah, we're pretty on schedule. Close enough.
Ooh, CJ Anderson looks like he has some delicious fruit in his locker. Looks like uh, some chopped up honeydew, some cantaloupe in there. Looks refreshing. He's got, he's got uh, white Beats by Dre headphones, wireless, it appears. A miniature football in there. What else you got in there, CJ Anderson? Pretty clean locker. That's all, I, that's all I can see. Um, I don't know if that's guaranteed, Nicholas Cass. Generally, there has been at least one cracked ice per case, but I don't think it's a it's a it's a case guarantee though. All right. Well, someone's going to get a lot of points at the end. We got Judge Ito Smith on card autograph for Josh Proust and the Falcons. Rookie ticket autograph, Micah Kaiser, Rams. Goes to John K. Rookie ticket autograph, nice Darius Leonard. Tori Nevis with the Colts. Another Colt, Kimoko Toure. Another one for Tori. All right, so there's four autographs plus the points. Maybe we'll get a bonus auto out of here. Uh, yes, bonus auto, Dylan Contrell. Rookie ticket autograph. Wow, more? Oh, I thought it was a dual autograph. Trolled. Got, I got got. But that'll be randomized between uh, the Broncos and the Niners. Yeah, those Darius Leonard's have been selling pretty well, Kyle Kramer. All right. All right, good luck, boys and girls. We'll do the left-right randomizer. We've got the round numbers, numbered card, Denver and San Francisco. And everyone has a shot at that stack of points. That's four 250-point cards. All right, snake eyes. Easy, one and two. Right side, we'll get these. One and two. Denver. We'll get those and all those points. One and two. After two times, James. There you go, James. A little consolation prize right there. One, two, three, four, 250 points cards. And there it is. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for watching. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you for the next one. Bye-bye.